51 degree water. You want to run down further to the bay a little bit and take a look? Inside? Yeah. Do you? I'm not marking as much as, I, as I'm happy with. Yeah, it's sporadic, Let's right? make a look. Yeah, let's bring him in. Let's not kick this horse in further. Then bring him in. It's one thing if we're marking him. Come on, temperature is much further. Remember, we ran south the other day and we made it work. So, let's see if we can do it again. Chinese, we didn't tell you. What do you want me to hang? Just on the edge there between the blue and the. <laughs> it's not like you abused them. I can't use them once. All I do is I see fish down there. Oh, yeah, look at this. They are there. I see fish. They're not good any other reef we use, right? Hold, hold the up button down one, all the way. Hold it down for the piece. We just still want to do our 2.9. See, I knew it, man. <laughs> I knew it. You can't even get a line in the water over here. Stop it. Stop it. Don't suck it up. So, what do you think? Do you think we should put a line down and catch one of these? Yeah, yeah sure. Any size, Mike? Play it up, Mike. Play it up. Uh, Decent. No, we don't want to damage the fish. It's alright, just got to get this in the water quick. We'll try not to damage the fish. Yep. Alright, so we were sitting over there for two hours without a bite. We decided to move. Point. And Mike didn't even get the line out. Maybe let out about 30 feet of line, hit bottom, tightened her up, and immediately, we'll pow. Immediately a hit. We'll immediately we'll pow. We'll pow. You can see we're just, we're not even doing a mile an hour, we're doing eight tenths of a mile an hour. And we're trying to get this one on. Alright Eric, let's get you up this piece. Only 25 feet deep here. 
but it's the truth it's what we're doing we're living with side scan right now active imaging we're just staring at it all day till we're just sick of looking at it and we're, we're staring at it for four hours without a touch mark fish here or there nothing great just enough fish to keep us sitting there wasting time yeah. so we said you know what we need to make something happen let's run we only ran a half a mile came across saw a bunch of strong marks on the left and right active imaging side scan and this is all we're looking at now because we're shallow we're only at 25 feet of water and we need to look at a lot of water here you know our sonar or 2d or down scan is great but you know we're shallow so we're not able to see a lot of water that way side scan and this new active imaging is really the best way to find these fish you just get the high resolution so you see a great amount of water at once show me that fish where you turn to lose all right pretty fish not too bad. Good job, buddy. Yeah, so here's a. Uh, I don't know what I'm at. I'm just trying to fish on. Fish on! Fish on! Fish fish on. Fish on. Fish I knew we were marking it. Go get him, Eric. Let's go. Good. He's fish. Mike's going to catch one, reeling one up. Now, this we will drop a waypoint on. Because this is pretty nice. Waypoint. We will go ahead and drop our waypoint in my check mark. Let's see. Where do you want that fish, Eric? Keep you into the waves here, so you. Uh... Nice looking fish, Eric. Pretty looking fish. And, you know, fish move, but that gives us a nice point of reference. At least I know what direction we were. Fish there, Eric. Good job, brother. Uh, nice. Like that. Nice job, buddy. Center back. See ya. See ya. Go grow. You got a belly full of the future, right? Good job, bro. Good job, bro. Very nice. And we are back in them again. Side scan is the key, man. It's what it is. It's not. It's not sending pings down. It's sending slivers out. And it's building a picture by sending lots of slivers out. As it kind of stacks these slivers up, it gives you that nice, high detailed picture. The term sliver is not technical. It's just how I describe it. It's not really a cone. Like this is a cone that comes down and gets wider. This is more like slivers. That... So we got 3.8. It's a little too quick. Get back on top of that waypoint. How'd you get out of the jacket already? You want the jacket? You don't need the jacket? Now in New York, New Jersey, they call these mojo rigs. Uh, what it really is, these are parachute rigs. So two big parachute jigs, and what you do is you would use one that's a lot bigger than the other. And the other and that one really just keeps your baits down by the bottom. So it's almost like an inline downrigger ball. You know, it's anywhere from 10 ounces to 60 ounces. We're, we're, our front bait is 24 ounces, middle of the road. We're pulling about 30 ounces total. Whenever you're pulling two shoots, and one of your your shoot is 20 ounces or more, in my opinion, we call that a, that part the mojo. Together, it's a mojo rig. So some people hear shoot rigs, hear mojos, and they get confused. They mean the, the same thing. Hello. Hello. change your speed here you can see our speeds going up and down all day 2.8 I'm gonna crank it up I'll lower it raise it just mess with it all day nice school here nice school here nice school here when I see a school like that I keep the boat straight as I can make sure our baits get through it and note what your speed is I'm gonna keep it here at 2.8 2.9 if you don't hook up we'll change it next time we go through a school three miles an hour lots of fish down there Big long marks, 1.8, too slow. Apparently he's still wrestling you. Yeah, <laughs> look at that strong thumb. Holy cow, 
Fifty man. Holy cow! I got some heat. Look at those shadows. That's all. I'm in a right hand turn. Here he is, Mike. Here we go. No, go get him. Yeah, yeah Mike. Yeah, yeah, that Mike. Man, they won't touch that other one. So what depth was this one at? 80. Still taking line, Mike? Okay. Okay, go ahead and bring that one in there, Eric. Nice. I told you it was a Yoo-Hoo. Yoo-Hoo is never a bad thing. Never. Look, Max loves the Yoo-Hoo. Let's put a... Uh... Ooh, taking line there, Mike. Sorry, Eric, I'm just trying to put it into the okay. nose into the wave, so it's... I'm not I won't get it in the prop. Your hip to my jive? Pick it up with your foot down. That's right. Fine. No camera on the other, and we had three fish on the one without the camera. So even though these are, react these are reaction fish, <laughs> that camera is still enough to keep them from wanting it. So this is the Striper Stealth Heavy Power rating. This is the heavy. We've been pulling mojos. We're pulling about 30 ounces today. Total 30, 30 ounces. I think these are perfect for uh, Mojo parachute rigs in a 30 ounce total range. Front bait is 24 ounces. Anything over, you know, let's say 36 total, I would go with the extra heavy. But the heavy here is doing really well. 30 ounce total. It's a little head shake there. You don't want to see it. We got 973 out. <laughs> feet left to go. We circled the planet. <laughs> Watch Max. Mike. Come on. Wait on that side of the boat. Just trying to make it comfortable. So it isn't. You're fighting fast, Tommy. Yeah. This one's a little bigger, huh? That short handle on that net, you gotta keep your arms really bent before you lunge for it because there's not much I'm feeling that. there's not much shaft to deal with. <laughs> she's seen the light and she's going it. In the beard, she's out. Yeah. Can you see? Let's go Mark. There it is. <laughs> Pretty fish. It's a long fish. Woo. Nice one. Go. Good one, brother. Good, one. Good job, bro. Cool. See ya. Love you. 
Love you. Love you, mean it. Mean it. She goes. She goes. That's a long fish. Good job, brother. Nice. Good job, man. Let's get another one.